No, Sydney does really look the most heavenly place to live. I can't imagine what it must be like to wake up every morning to the view from some of those houses there. Well, our next final is women's doubles, which gives us an opportunity to look at the Destination Dubai rankings. And I can tell you that the number two pair and the number one pair will swap places after this week in Sydney because Matsutomo and Takahashi reached the semi-final here. The other Japanese pair down at number five at the moment, they will move up to number three. So there's going to be a fair amount of movement after this week here in Sydney on that Destination Dubai ranking. So an all Chinese women's doubles final. One pair who are playing their first ever tournament together. But the lady leading them out is uh, Tiang Ching, who is the defending champion, won the title last year with Zhao Yunlei. This year, playing with Tang Chinhua. The number six seeds in the blue kit. The Asian champions, Margin and Tang Huan Ting. In their third consecutive final in the tournaments played. From New Zealand. Fresh gun from New the Zealand. The service judge for this match is Jean Philippe Burgess from New Caledonia. Jean Philippe Ladies and gentlemen, our women's doubles finalists from China, Tang Zhuha and Tian Qing. Tian Qing, not only defending champion, but also an Olympic champion, China, of course, with Xiao Yu Lei. Ma Jin and Tang Yuan Ting, only one previous Wuhan. tournament this year. That was the Asia Championships in Wuhan, which they duly won. And their previous tournament together prior to that was the French Super Series last year, where they reached the final. So for... OK, so you will be on my left. Thank you. Well, number six seeds, Tiang Ching and Tiang Ching Hua have chosen ends to start that far side of the court. There's the defending champion, Tiang Ching. 28 years of age, born in Anhua, in Hunan province in southern China. World and Olympic champion, as I say. What a status. Won the Asian Games gold medal in 2010 as well. But let's look at the Asian champions first of all. Tang Huan Ting, 20 years of age. And Margin turned 27 last month. Jin from Qingdao and Tang Huan Ting from Nanning. Number 10 on the world ranking, enjoying their second week at that career high status. And well, we've actually got the stats there from Tiang Ching and Tang Jin Hua. There we are, that's the right ones. In the semi final yesterday, they beat the number two seeds, the European champions. Christina Peterson and Camilla Baru to your semi final against the number three seeds. So, Margin and Tang Huan Ting disposing of the number two and three seeds. We've had a good run so far. So, to the number six seeds playing in their first ever tournament together, but of course, they have won four matches to get through to today's final. They disposed of the number four seeds. In the quarter-final stage, the Asian Games gold medalists Gracia Poli and Nitya Krasinda Maswari. And in the semi-final yesterday, uh, they disposed of the number one seeds. Uh, Matsutomo and Takahashi, who I was just explaining, will go to number one on the Super Series standings after uh, the Australian Open. So as far as uh, Tang Chinhua and Tiang Ching are concerned, as a pair, we don't know a lot about them. We know an awful lot about them as individuals as we once again look at our court officials. Bush Gubb and Jean-Philippe Bourgier. And it's not always the case 
is it, Steen, that you can put two good players together and they automatically gel as a good partnership? But the signs are very good as far as Tang Xinghua and Tiang Chin are yeah, concerned. And, and it seems that um, almost all of the Chinese players can mix up and, and form really, really strong partnerships. Um, they've been under head coach uh, Tian Bingyi's guidance for many years and and are probably um, schooled in, in the same system. So uh, that makes it a little bit easier, but, but still there will be some that are more preferable than others. Yeah. Well, we've, we've pondered, haven't we, you and I, uh, about whether Tiang Ching and Zhao Yunlei will continue to play together for the Olympic campaign as defending Olympic champions. And pondered whether Zhao Yunlei is going to want to concentrate just on the mixed doubles discipline. Yeah. We don't know. We don't have the inside track. But I think just as interesting is who is Tang Huan Ting going to play with? This lady. Because she's been playing with Yu Yang in the Sunderman Cup. She, of course, has won uh, two titles, been in three finals already with Bowie Sin this year. Bowie Sin, who we've just seen in the mixed doubles discipline. Ladies and gentlemen, Seems she can play with anyone and still win. Yeah. Ma Jin, Tang Yong Ting, China. But actually, Jiayong Lei and, and Ma Jin, for instance, that's, that's two players that I wouldn't and on my left, think would Tian do Jin, too well Tang Jin compared Hong, to Chinese standards if China. they were put together. And to my knowledge, they haven't played together. Ma Jin to serve to Tang Jin Hua. Love all. Play. So the European, the <laughs> European champions, the Asian champions, nearest to us, Ma Jin and Tang Yuan Ting. semi-final yesterday no. this combination beating the european champions the danes peterson and ruta yule i can tell you that this pair that we're looking at right now took an hour and 26 minutes to beat the current world number ones Misaki matsutomo and ayaka takahashi yeah. i'm really uh, excited to see this match because um i wonder if um Chien and uh, Tang will put more pressure on Ma Jin than we saw the Danes do yesterday. Um, I read some of the uh, articles after the uh, Sudirman Cup, uh, especially some of the statements from Yu Yang, who was saying that uh, she felt Tang Yun Ting was totally on the top of her game right now. And if that's true, then uh, perhaps that's the perception in the Chinese camp that she is the best female doubles player in the world right now, or perhaps women's doubles player. Um, at least that's what I think. So that's why it's interesting to see if if uh, Tang and Chin are going to target Ma Jin. Yeah. So many implications in this as well because uh, Tang Jinhua, of course, partnered Bao Yixin and, and were number one in the world. Yeah. But they, they suddenly lost out in a number so, of occasions so um, quite unexpectedly two. and then were sort of split. Whereas uh, Tang Yunting has had similar success Bye. with Bao Yixin yeah. in the beginning here. So, what you're saying is there will be a little. A fair bit of healthy rivalry between Tang Yuan Ting and Tang Jinhua in this match. Yeah, I think there would be between <laughs> all the four players because there's such a big competition in the Chinese team on, on who, who is actually going to the Olympics here. And I'm also interested to see what the playing style is of um, Qian and Tang because we haven't really seen them here on the TV court and I would expect mm. them to be more flexible in their uh, position that they can both play the net position and the backcourt position. 
service over. Three, one. If that's true, how will that affect the strategy Play. of uh, Chang Yunting and Majin? Yeah, it's all interesting. And here's another interesting fact that in 2015, we are guaranteed a fifth different pair winning the women's doubles title at the fifth Super Series event of the year. Service over. And nobody Two, has dominated. Three. We did have a, a period, I think it was in 2011, 2012, where Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang were winning everything. In fact, they won all of the premier yeah. events, all five premier events. But I think it's great that we're going to have a fifth different pair win the women's doubles title at the I fifth Super Series. I heard Xiaoli was apparently undergoing surgery. Uh, and that's why she didn't play this tournament together with uh, Jia Yong Lei. Surgery on knee or shoulder? Um, I, I didn't hear. Challenge Tang Jinpo, Tang Ching, called out. Well, a Hawkeye will adjudicate. Only the second time on the finals day today. The Hawkeye has been asked to make a decision. It was out. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. Tang Jinhua, Tang Ching. One uh, challenge remaining. I can testify to the fact that knees do take a battering in badminton. Play. Yeah, we saw a horrible injury, knee injury, during the Sudowin Cup with Bellatrix Manaputi. We do hope she's all right. We'll find out more next week. Four, three. Service over. Four. All. My goodness, well played. The world and Olympic champion. Five. Everything four. going in a downward direction. Yeah, it's very well moved forward. Good rotational play. Oh, service, service not called. called. Service over. Five, all. Thank you. Struck above the waist, says our service judge. <laughs> service over. Six, five. It's a clever smash. Much Service flatter, Six, aiming towards four. the right shoulder of Tang Jinhua. Look at this. Yeah, very clever. Very, very good. Powerful too. skill six from margin but you were making the point steam that play when we watched them yesterday that she's such a fine mixed doubles player you really don't want her coming forward to the net at all no <laughs> she's 
is the dominating net player in this um, match, but um, also the weaker background player, background player. Yeah, well, we're talking about her long or her short grip, rather. Yeah. You know, look at look where how she's holding Eight, the, the, the racket six. there. I was always taught with the overhead shots, you shouldn't be able to see the end of the handle. <laughs> the, you know, make the racket as long as possible. Yeah. Well, it seems to work for her, but we were discussing that she must surely lose power with her overhead oh. smashes. Service, oh, fault, service called. fault called. Service over, seven, eight. Struck above the waist. We must also say that we saw her yesterday make up for this lack of power by being uh, very clever. Yeah. Mixing up the shot. Service over. With, um, Nine, seven. Nicely timed drop shots. Good clears. Oh, yes, that's clever. Ten, seven. Now oh, this combination of Ma Jin and Tang Yuan Ting ranked ten at the moment, but they've only got six tournaments towards that world ranking. That just shows how so good they are as a pair because the optimum eight, number is ten, ten before you really get a realistic ranking. So with only having played six and still in the top ten. That's remarkable. Yeah, that's where a lot of the people around uh, badminton, uh, coaches, commentators, journalists, and so on, they they might sometimes be able to get a more Nine, um, ten. sort of realistic picture if they said, okay, they have six tournaments and they're number ten with, with that number of tournaments. What if we count only the six best tournaments for number one, two, three, four, five, and so on? Yeah. How, how will they, that, that will give a current picture mm. instead of a picture over Service one year. over, 11, nine, interval. So a two point advantage for the Asia champions, the mid game interval. Number five seeds against the number six seeds. Uh, now, you see, I like that because Tang Huang Ting is only 20 years of age. Her partner is a multiple world championship medalist, six medals in fact. Silver at the Olympic Games in the mixed doubles discipline, and yet the youngster is quite happy to add her thoughts into the conversation. Yeah. Chinese coaches, of course, not involved because it's all Chinese affair. Eleven nine. Play. That's perhaps the only thing that's a little uh, sad about this. That it's it's hard to get the uh, audience to sort of um, get into the battle because uh, who are they going to side with? Yeah. And it is a shame because it's such a, a good quality match for wonderful women's doubles players. Look at that. Service over. Ten. Eleven. Over 12, 10. Actually, uh, Tang Jinhua, she, uh, she beat Tang Yuan Ting uh, when Tang Yuan Ting and Bao Yixin was playing the China Masters. Yeah. Playing with 
is uh, Jong Chin Chin at that tournament. 13, 10. Yeah, I like the fact that Tang Hyun Ting always seems to enjoy her badminton. Smiles when she's happy. Expresses herself. Oh, there's the confusion. What used to playing together? Fourteen, ten. Yeah, she must feel she's okay. had a real point to prove. And there's a lot of discussion going on uh, in the respective partnerships. Play. Yeah, of course, the other thing that we need to add into the mix is Tang Jinhua actually played in 2013 with Ma Jin. One ten. one title together. Going wide. Service over, 11, 15. I was just checking what Play. about Yu Yang because we haven't seen her in this tournament, but she's entered into next week's tournament with, uh, with Zheng Chenxing that we just talked about. These two players, of course, also in Jakarta. Oh, I wasn't convinced that that was out. Service over. Oh, we've already 16, lost one challenge. 11. They're not challenging that one. Yeah, it was out. Yeah. It was out. Good call, line judge. Good rally. Service over. 12, 16. That was a delightful block defence from Margin. Play. Oh, look Golf. at that. That is magnificent. Seventeen, twelve. There is the skills from the mixed doubles where yeah. you simply need to challenge at the net in order to get the initiative in the rally. Oi. Oh, she just missed it. Yeah, well, that looked a nasty Service slip, over. didn't it? Yeah, front Richard. foot just yeah. went away from yeah. her. On court, please. No. 
13, 17. Thank you. Did she win a world title in uh, mixed doubles, Martin? No, she hasn't. Yeah. Oh, yes, she did with Jen Bo yeah. in Paris 2010. Twice the silver medalist with her current partner, Xu Chen. Gone too long. Service over. 18 13. Do you think we'll see this Margin Tang Yuan Ting partnership as the Olympic campaign goes on, or will they put her back with Bao Yi Sin? We can only ponder, of course, but if it was yeah. you, what would you do if you were the team coach? 19, it's, it's difficult 13. because it'll, I think it, it depends on how they see Bao Yixin, because she's been number one in the world uh, ladies' doubles with Tang Jinhua, but at the big occasions, yeah. they didn't make it. No, in fact... So, they... how much of the blame, so to speak, is uh, is the the coaches and, and the team chefs putting on Bao Yixin, because... Um, yeah. That, that might be the reason for not playing them. Nice, yeah, good aggressive rally from the number six seeds. Service over. 14, 19. Of course, only two pairs from each nation can go to the Olympics. And there's also the implication in the mixed doubles that um, Bao Yixin and, and Liu Chang, that we just saw uh, lose the mixed doubles final, they're, in my opinion, battling very hard with uh, Ma Jin and Xu Chen mm. for the second spot after Zhao Yunlei and, and Zheng Nan, who's, in my opinion, uh, almost given as the reigning Olympic champion and world champions. Yeah. Perhaps it's also a mo motivational issue that you simply... They're so dominating in the women's doubles, so switching them around a little bit uh, might keep them highly motivated instead of playing yeah. the same combinations over and over again, year after year. Yeah. <laughs> Service over. 20. So again, Game point, 15. Point opportunities for Tang Yuan Ting and Ma Jin. Oh, that was a shocking serve. Serves over. 16, 20. Yeah, she knows it too. Too loose with the block there, margin. Um, very nicely taken from Tiang Ching. <laughs> Put that away. Created an awful lot of power with that backhand. Play. A couple of mistakes from that position Thanks. for uh, Tang Yuan Ting. Play. Trying to do a forehand shot just below her left shoulder. That's difficult.
stupid rally. Very good rally. Oh, my goodness, confusion in the ranks. That's well played by uh, 19, by Chin 20. and Tung. And that's how I would like to see the opponents play this combination of Majin and, and Tung Yun Ting. Trying to keep Tung Yun Ting out of the game as much as possible. Players, ladies, Majin, come here. Play must be continuous. You are not to watch the replays. You must keep playing. Get ready. Thank you. Oh. Yep. They're watching the replays. Play must be continuous. Yes, yeah, 23, 24 minutes already lost of the five game point opportunities for Margin and Tang Yuan Ting. And this time okay. they convert. First game won by Margin and Tang Yuan Ting, 21-19. 21 19. 24 minutes. And the number five seeds, the Asian champions, one game to the good against teammates. Tian Ching and Tang Xinhua. in the very early stages, Steen, that Tang Jinhua and Tian Ching were doing very well about trying to isolate Ma Jin, but they seemed to sort of change their tactics a little bit partway yeah, through. Yeah. So it makes you wonder, actually, whether it was a tactic or it was just yeah. the development of, uh, of the rallies that, that uh, sort of created these situations. city in Australia, Sydney. You'd never believe it, would it, when you look at these aerial shots. Still plenty of greenery around. No, you never tire of that scene, do you? Never. Second game. Love all. Play. So one game to the good. The Asia champions, Ma Jin and Tang Yuan Ting. Oh, service, service, fault, service called. fault called. Service Second time over. she's been called a fault. One love. Struck above the waist. Jean Philippe Bourget, our service judge. I agree from the replay. Oh my goodness! Oh no, 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 that's not possible. Oh, sensational! <laughs> Unbelievable! So One, all. Wow. How on earth did she get that net call back? Fabulous. Service over, two, one. 
Oh, clever. Right. Yeah. It was that change of pace, that it's drop over. shot from Marge in, did Two. the damage. All. We've talked about uh, putting pressure on her on the back court, but of course that's much easier said than done because clearly I she think. and uh, Tang Yuen Ting has some agreements on how should I maneuver myself to the front court. And she's been doing that brilliantly. Service over. Three, two. Well, I can tell you, Margin, after that rally, just practicing her serve to pass the shuttle back. I thought actually she was a little bit static. I think she's probably thinking so much about the serve having been faulted. Yeah. Full smash from Hunting. That position there is really hard to to challenge. Service over. Five, Some three. Full smashes from Tang Yunting and Majin to hover around at the net. Oh, that's delightful. What a good run. Yeah. And, uh, Five, all. Blue, blue team, <laughs> Chen and Tang, they're not really getting anywhere with these smashes that has exactly the same speed. And we've seen it much more efficient from uh, Majin. Even though she's not as powerful in her smash, she uses variation and does the trick. So that would benefit Chin Service Chan. fault called. Oh, service fault called again. Service over. Six, five. Majin. Over. I was just watching Tiang Ching's serve there after the fault on Ma Jin. And I think she's very, very close to the Play. limit too. Yeah. I 
think all the top doubles so players seven, in the world are six. really, really close to the limit. Mm. Yeah, in fact, a couple of years ago, I, I couldn't believe that some of the top players in the world weren't being called a fault the whole time. Yeah. I think some of the service judges are a little bit giving the players the benefit of the doubt. That's a great smash from Margin. Service over. There's the variation you were talking Seven. about. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Angled. Steep. Towards the tram line, doing the damage. Oh. Service over. Eight. Seven. It has affected her. She hasn't been serving well since um, the first call of service fault in this game. Yeah, we've talked about Margin's variation. Tang Huan Ting, is it sheer power or is it good placement as well? Yeah, at least <laughs> there's a quite good amount of power in it. But yeah. um, as long as she gets through, there's, there's no need for Play. variation. I, I think mm. she can vary as well. We've seen that in the All England. I would almost, over. almost always Four. sort of uh, recommend a, a flick serve to Majin because it's simply just better having her on the backcourt than, than having her at the net. Oh, that was... Yeah, that's well nice. Played. Lovely play so from Tian Ching. Yeah. Ten, nine. So play the downward shots, controlled downward shots towards Tang Yun Ting. And especially the drop shots so that you sort of prevent Ma Jin from coming to the net. She's at the net. No, listening to you, Steen. Uh, not really. You need to move a little bit more to the middle now. Oh, oh that's great play. Great play. 11, from nine, the defending interval. champion, Tiang Ching. She and her new partner, Tang Jin Wat, have the advantage at the mid game interval. Albeit just two points. Yeah, I really like that last action. It's a wrap up of uh, some of the second game action, but, but the last action from. Um, Chen Ting, when Ma Jin finally was coming to the net, she was ready, there it was. Yeah. Because she knew that she was going to play creative. She knew that she was probably going to play the net. And uh, I really like that anticipation. 11-9. Play. Yeah. 
12-9. Good follow forward from Tang Xinhua. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. So I noticed the first smash was directed at Tang Yuanting and not with full power. Just totally in control. And when they got forward, I switched to Majin. Could that be a plan? Thirteen, nine. Yeah. yeah. Fourteen, nine. They've really stepped up their game, haven't they? Definitely. Momentum has totally changed. Turn serve. Service over. 10, 14. Estimated. No, it's amazing to me how Tiang Ching really sort of got that one opportunity at the Asian Games in Guangzhou. Cheng Shu was ill. Uh, or injured and couldn't play with Xiao Yunlei. She stepped in yeah. as a replacement. They won the gold medal, and from there they started playing together and gone on to become Olympic champion, world champion. Yeah. And her previous partner, do you remember her playing with Pan Pan? Yeah. And they were good. They were a good pair, but they were never really outstanding as a pair. No. Pan Pan wasn't really up to the standard of uh, Jian Ting. Yeah. I saw it. Pan Pan now married to 15, Xu Chen. 10. Okay. Mixed doubles player. Partner of Ma Jin. In fact, Ma Jin was bridesmaid at the wedding. Liking this rally yeah. more, aren't yes. you? Yes. Moving her at the back. Yeah. And drop shot towards Tang Yuan Ting. Yeah, just cut Tang Yuan Ting out of the game altogether at the moment. Oh, there she's got a hit. Yes, excellent. Yeah. Fantastic play. 16, 10. So now it's up to. Jin and Tang Yun Ting to respond to that challenge. Because right now, blue team has got them figured. Oh! Yeah, clever. Service over, 11, 16. Sixteen. 
service over. Mm. 17 12. Real challenges at the front of the court now. Look at this. Service over, 13, 17. I'm oh, really quite surprised that Margin played that defensive shot. Really trying to step forward. It was really good. Don't mind her being decisive like that, but it certainly surprised me. Oh, that's clever. That Service is a over, 18, shot. 13. Good return of service. Service over. 14, 18. Can't really see the quality of the serve here. It looks really high. I think it was very hard to see from our position. We're a little bit too high above the court. Service over, 19, 14. Well, Tung Chinhua and Tian Ching now just two points away from levelling this final at one game apiece. Game point, 14. Six game point opportunities. Yeah. Service over. Brilliant front 20. court player, as you say, Steen. Sixteen, twenty. And I think Yuan Ting is actually improving as a front court player. I, th I see signs that she's prepared to go for the front more and try and yeah. intercept yeah. like that third shot there it's actually gone game. long second game won by Tang Jin Ho so one Tian game all 21-16 one game all confirmed by the umpire 48 minutes into the match and it's one game apiece yeah I think you're right about the front court play of, of Tang Yun Ting but being in this partnership with Majin might prevent her from, from progressing even further because she should not be at the front court. They're at a disadvantage if she's there, but that's what I liked about the combination with Bao Yuxin, that they could play, Bao Yuxin was a better backcourt player than, uh, than Majin is, and they could play this rotational doubles as well. So I think that uh, Tang Jinhua and Chen Ting, they found more or less a recipe of uh, beating these two players. 
sure most people around the world have seen pictures of Sydney Harbour, the Harbour Bridge and this Opera House, but I have to say from my own personal experience, nothing actually really prepared me for the huge impact of actually being up close and personal with the Opera House and I certainly was on a ferry sailing past and when you look at that roof from all different angles it is absolutely extraordinary. Probably one of the most stunning pieces of architecture Final I've game. ever seen. Love all. Play. So one game all. Third and deciding game. So for the pair nearest to us, the Asian champions, Margin and Tang Huan Ting. So this is their fourth Super Series tournament final, but they've yet to win a title. Will today be their first? Their opponents, of course, their first ever tournament together, so win or lose, they've had a remarkable start to the partnership. Yeah, yeah good, good call. call. Yeah, she was going to play it. Yeah. Two, love. Play. Yeah, good aggression. Service over. One, three. Change of pace. <laughs> Service over. Four, two. Service over. Three, four. And we've said that um, Tang Yun Ting has a powerful smash, but, um, but Tang Jin Hua, she's not much after. No. Four, all. I always thought Wong Si Ali had the, probably the most powerful smash in, in the women's doubles game. Do you think that's still the case? Oh, I mean, obviously she's out injured at the moment. Yeah. But I mean, do you think that's still the case, or do you think these two on court right now? I think Tung and Ting is uh, about to challenge for the hardest. Yeah. But um, uh, Wang Xiaoli, she was really, Five, really powerful. Four. Mm. I'll put my money right now on. Um, Chen Ching and uh, Tang Jinghua. Also, judging from the body language. Yeah. Ah, that's a beautiful play. Mm. Six, four. Mm. 
all straight points. Of course, nothing they would love more than show the team bosses that they should have been playing the Sudiaman Cup. Seven, four. Change. Yes, of course. This lady, Anne Margin, was selected for three of the five matches in the Sudaman Cup campaign. And the two matches, of course, was Tang Yuan Ting playing with Yu Young. Five, seven. Play. Yeah, well spotted on par. Wrong player about to serve. Got it right now, so. It's too flat, gone long. Service over. Eight, five. Did well to get out of the way, Tian Ching. Great judgment. Service over. Six, eight. No. Yeah. Right sort of tactics, though. Margin from the back of the court, then playing the drop shot in front of her, bringing her forward, then lifting the shuttle over her head again. <sighs> They've been doing a lot of good service returns. Service um, over. Tian Ting and uh, Tang Jinhua. And I especially Nine, like these six. returns to the mid-court area. Very successful, especially on the services from uh, Ma Jin. Past Ma Jin to the mid-court area and below the tape. Service over. Seven. Too much flatter smash Ten, towards seven. chest tight. Yeah, that was a big, big swing of the racket, wasn't yeah, it? Very big. I was Play. wondering if it was going long, that smash. Coughing. No. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> Great defense. What a rally. Yeah, same tactic again. play because uh, we can see that Tang Yuen Ting is, is ready to uh, Nine, switch ten. positions with Ma Jin if it's just a little bit more to the right. So they can't really move her from side to side. Mm. I have a feeling that might be the longest of the match so far. of rackets, not surprising with a new pair. So who's going to have the advantage at the change of ends? Ah! Now the lucky neck cord from so over. Tang Chung Wang. Interval change she and Tiang Ching. The number six seeds have the advantage. Eleven ten. Play. Mm. Mm, there's a bit over. more urgency 11. in that rally Four. from the Asian champions. That's hard to defend. It's a bit too short, yeah. Turn of so serve. Over 12, 11. the weak reply and there's still good movement from margin at the net and the defense Twelve. doing the damage that one yeah. moving forward Interception. Oh, brilliant defence. What a rally. Oh, 
Unbelievable. compared to a couple of years ago when people were complaining there were too long rallies, only yeah. clears and drops in, in women's doubles. Yeah, Kian. that's women's doubles of the no, very, no. very no. highest quality. Yeah. And that's where you just place the towel a little bit out of the box and then you get to go back and put it back in. 13 all, play. Very Time important rally for Chin and uh, Tung as uh, they were sort of abandoning their tactics a little bit here. just been informed by Hawkeye that that previous rally was 70 shots. <laughs> Incredible. Placement two yeah. towards that right oh. hip. And great coverage by Majin in, in the beginning of the rally, sort of making sure her partner wasn't being put under pressure. always interesting to see um, Chinese combinations play each other because you might sometimes get a little bit of a clue as to where to put pressure on the players because they know each other so well so we can see that the, the, the backhand around the tape height for uh, Tang Yuntin is not as strong as a lot of the other shots she has. It's gone long. Good movement 16. from Tang Huan Ting, oh. wasn't it? Get back, hit the thunder down the first match. There she is, going back. And the interception of the service return as well, mm. sort of setting it all up. Oh. 
Well, the one goes long, and look so at the body over. language of yeah. the Asian champions. Yeah, it's hard to get the, those opportunities, so when you get them, you really like to take advantage of them. Sixteen. So it's over. Could be a very, 18. very important point. Seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, she's just covering 18. that backhand oh. side, Majin. So well done. Now, similar sort of movement that we see here in the mixed doubles. That eagerness to get forward. And it's 18 all. There, again. Oh. Ah, don't believe it. Oh, it's gone wide. What a rally! Service over. 19, 18. Oh, that's a lovely block. <laughs> yeah. Found Chimar making the difference in that rally. And she's earned herself and last year's champion, Tian Qing, two match point opportunities. Great return of serve. Yeah. Great return of serve. And good courage yeah, to leave over. that. 19, One 20. as well. One match point saved. He did it quite high at my gin. Fantastic badminton. Play. So 20 all. Extra points required. Until there's a two point difference. This is extraordinary. Point Having just saved 
two match points and now Tai Kyu and Ting and Ma Jin have a match point opportunity themselves. Ting win their first Super Series title. Uh, my Guinness, didn't they have to battle hard for that? <laughs> but spare a thought for their opponents. Two missed opportunities. It wasn't missed opportunities. It was brilliantly saved by the Asian champions. There they are. Well weathered the storm and their confirmation of how they won their first Super Series title. 21-19, 16-21, 22-20 coming from 18-20 down in that deciding game. An hour and 15 minutes of brilliant badminton. Day we've had so far. Women's doubles really at its very, very best. Well, anybody who thinks that women's doubles is a defensive game nowadays, I hope you've changed your minds having watched that. That was brilliant. Attacking play. Counter-attacks, looking for the net, looking for those interceptions. <laughs> no, I seem to remember saying a rally, I think it was had to make it 17-18 in that deciding game when Tiang Ching hit one into the net, and I said that could Ladies prove a very and important point. Please and welcome so the players to, to the presentation ceremony for the women's doubles. And please welcome the presentation party Stuart Ayres, Minister of Trade, Tourism, and Major Events, and Minister of Sport. Matthew George, CIO of MetLife Australia. The runners up for the women's doubles final of the Star Australian Badminton Open 2015 from China, Tang Jinghua, Tian Qing. Well, for a first ever tournament together, that's a pretty impressive start, isn't it? Uh, Tian Qing, winner last year with Zhao Yun Lei receiving her medal first. And there, Tang Xinhua. Well, disposed of the number one seeds in the semi-final yesterday in a match lasting an hour and 26 minutes and an hour and 15 minutes today. They're gonna have tired And the champions tomorrow. for the women's doubles final of the Star Australian Badminton Open for 2015 from China. Ma Jin and Tang Yuan Ting. Well, for Ma Jin and Tang Yuan Ting, a Super Series title at last. Uh, three times prior to this, in fact, three times last year, uh, they were beaten finalists in Super Series tournaments. And finally, a title here at the Star Australia for Tang Yuan Ting. Well, what a year she's had. Five individual tournaments, five finals with two different partners. Second consecutive title for them in tournaments played after the Asia Championships in Wuhan.
great women's doubles. So much of life in Sydney. Next final is men's singles and a chance to look at the destination Dubai a super series ranking at the moment and Chen Long of course top of the list at the moment win or lose he will remain world uh, number one on those super series standings Jano Jorgensen having been in the semi-final he's going to jump up to a number three but Victor Axelson uh, the finalist today well if he wins he's going to go up to number three if he loses today's final he will go up just one place to number four. So a lot to play for in today's men's singles final. So the men's singles finalist Chen Long the world champion, number one seed, current world number one against Victor Axelsson, unseeded in this tournament. But my goodness, what a tournament he's had. Beat the defending champion the umpire for this in the very match first round. And Dan, the from Olympic New champion Zealand. as well, of course. Richard Bramley from New Zealand, our umpire for this. For this match, and Chris Yip from Hong Kong. Hong Kong. From China, Chen Long. Plenty of support for Chen Long. And his opponent from Denmark, Victor Axelsson. Yes, yeah, so too for Victor Axelsson, the 21-year-old from Orleans. This a third Super Series tournament final. First final was at the French Open in 2012, and of course he reached the final in India earlier this year. For Chen Long, it is a 24th 
Super Series Tournament Final. That's incredible. One of his 23 previous, he's won 16, so he has a very, very good record in Super Series Tournament Finals. He's already won two already, of course, this year, the All England Championships and the Malaysian as well. Both of those premier Victor, Super Black Series or events. Green? Uh, green. Green? Black. Service? Ah, uh, sorry, court. Uh, I said service, thank you. So Chen Long has chosen that far side of the court to start the match. Now this only is fourth tournament of the year for Chen Long, individual tournament that is, but that is because in large part the BWF, the Babington World Federation, listened to the requests of the players to have some time off and therefore there was uh, no Super Series tournaments throughout the whole of uh, January and February. Super Series only started in March, which allowed some players to have a full two months training period. So Chen Long, 26 years of age from Hubei province, has been world number one since the 24th of December at the end of last year. 15 and one, his win-loss record, his only loss was in the second round of the Singapore Super Series event when he lost in three games to the eventual runner-up, Hu Yun. But looking at his results,